Technology. It's not my thing. Oh my God. Hey, glad I fixed it so we can start. But first of all, hello everyone. I'm Carrie. Welcome to my um, second live stream, Crochet Along. And thank you for being patient with me. And before we start, make sure you have your water ready. Yes, it's working. I'm very happy. Finally, ah, the new phone thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys can see me, right? That's clear, right? Okay. All right. First of all, you will need to get your yarn ready. I have the hot pink yarn here and some black, some white, and some cotton. And yeah, the hook size is 3.5. And today we're going to make this tiny, cheapy um, pink soldiers. We will start from the head. And yeah, you will also need the stitch markers. So let's get started. Because I've been wasting your time for so long. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Are we ready? Do we want to start right now? Or <laughs> oh, I'm still a little bit nervous from all the chaos. What is this green lock thing? Oh my god. Okay, first of all, we are going to start a magic ring. Um, I suppose you know how to make a magic ring. We're going to make six single crochet into the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Yay! Welcome back! Sorry guys, there's a little problem, but I'm glad it's all fixed. Okay, so, um, hello, hi, um, do you know how to make magic ring? If you don't know, I can stop here and start a quick tutorial for you. So, Drop the comment, let me know if you don't know how to make a magic ring. Okay, I guess we are all good. <laughs> okay, tutorial, all right. So you're going to, um, let's get, a, get your yarn like this and wrap it around your finger and use your pinky to secure it like this. And then you can insert your hook right here. Grab the one in the bottom and turn. And, and go under to the one that you just grabbed from and turn, make a loop like this. This is a magic ring. Or you can use a lazy way as I do. I just form a circle like this and let go. Insert my hook into this loop. Grab this tail out. And it's like this, right? And you use your middle finger to kind of tap it right here slightly. And then quickly chain one like that then you have your magic ring but you know what if this is too fast you can you know join for now and watch for later you, um, give it a slow motion and you can start from there so now i'm going to quickly make a six single crochet into the magic ring this is three four five six do i have six Oh my god, I don't like work with a black yarn. It's so hard to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. All right, 
Next one, round two, we're going to um, make an increase around. So make sure you always mark your first stitch. Increase around, so make two single crochet in each stitch around. You should have 12 in total at the end of round two. So let's also enjoy the background music a little bit. Is it too loud? <laughs> I hope not. I think my refrigerator is louder than the music. Sorry about that. Okay, this is the end of round two. You should have total of 12 stitches. Okay, we're going to round three. We're going to do one single crochet and increase. Repeat this pattern till the end of round three. You will have a total of 18 stitches. Single crochet, increase. Single crochet and increase. Here. This is the end of round three. You should have 18 stitches. Yes, I have to write it down first so you guys can take a break. And yeah, I'll try my best to read your comments. So let me know if you have any questions. So we are at round three now. At the end of round three, you should have a total of 18 stitches. And now we are going to do round four. Okay. Round four, we're going to do two single crochet and one increase. Round three is single crochet and increase. Sorry, <laughs> I'm too fast. Okay. <laughs> I will slow down right here. I'll wait for you guys. Um, right now, I'm at the end of round three. Round three is single crochet and increase. Repeat this pattern, and you should have total of uh, total of eighteen stitches. Okay, are we cool to go to round four? Okay, let's go to round four. Round four, we will do um, two single crochet and increase. Repeat this pattern, you will have a total of 24 at the end. So this is the first single crochet, two single crochet, and then increase, repeat, two single crochet, increase. Two single crochet, increase. Two single crochet, increase. Two single crochet, increase. This is round four. Two single crochet, increase. Okay. This is the end of round four. You should have a total of 24 stitches. Okay. Everyone cool? We're all good?
It's okay. Take your time. <laughs> Okay, if we're all good from now on, we are going to single crochet around, just simply single crochet. And you will do it from round five to round 11. No, round 12. Yes, you will go from round five to round 12, in total of 24. So this is time we can chat. So how's everyone doing? So far, I know today is Friday night and it's actually, you know, it's Friday night for me, so. Okay. So this is round five, single crochet around. Yes, round one is you make six single crochet in the magic ring. And round two is you will increase around. So you will have 12 stitches. And round three, you will have to Yeah, take your time. You'll be using bigger hook. And round three is single crochet and increase around. And round four is two single crochet and increase around. And we are at, right now I'm at round five. You just need to um, crochet around. Thank you, Kay. Yes, round five to round 12. It's a time you can rest for a bit. There's no rush. You can um, crochet in your pace. I will go faster so I can answer your question. But if you're curious, round five to round 12 are all single crochet around, total of 24. Yeah, I'm not so sure if everyone is catching up, but it's okay. I'll be here waiting for you. So no hurry, take your time. You don't have to crochet fast. I know some of you are using bigger hook, so it will take longer time for sure. So this is not a race, just relax and do it. Enjoy the music. And if you're feeling tired, you can always, you know, take a break. I hope you guys can see clear too, because I'm using, I'm filming at my table and my table is having this black background and I'm working on the black yarn. I'm sorry for your eyes. I'm sorry for my eyes too, but this is super cool, super cute. You are not going to regret. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. It's been a while since my last live stream and I yeah, I I totally I totally forgot how to go live and you know that's what happened when I first time trying to do it today. 
So thank you for sticking around and joining this live again. For those who didn't join my last live, well, guess what? I host my um, live and then <laughs> I deleted. <laughs> so yeah, this time I'm not touching anything. I'm so it won't be you know be deleted accidentally. Yeah, I was thinking about doing the live on the <laughs> Instagram, but. Again, I don't know how to do it yet, so I have to figure it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm around 10 now, and you take your time. You know, it's just my luck. Like, every time I, I thought everything's ready, then there will be something. You know, not ready. <laughs> but I think I handle it well today because I deep breath. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, taking a deep breath does help me to calm down and I did it a couple times today already <laughs> okay where were where were where was I where is it okay here okay one more round thank you Hi, Philip. Thank you for joining. Guys, I think if you have time, you can go back to my first live today. It was a hot mess. <laughs> Kay told me the phrase in English, hot mess. Is it a negative word? But I kind of like it though. Because we're working with a hot pink today. This is a hot mess. Yay! Okay, it's not funny. Okay, right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. I'm done. And I'll be waiting for you guys. It's okay, so I'm glad you're here. <laughs> okay, we're all in hot mess today. <laughs> all right, if you just join and you are making this too, you will start with a um, magic ring in six single crochet. So your first round will be six. Yes, this part is the hat, and I'm at the. I'm kind of waiting for everyone to finish, and round two will be um, increase a round. So you will have totally. You will have total of twelve stitches, and round three you are going to do one single crochet and one increase. Repeat this pattern, and you will have total of eighteen stitches at the end of round three. Round four, you will do two single crochet and increase. Repeat this pattern and you will have a total of 24. And now you are going to work on from round five to round 12, which I'm um, at round 12 and total of um, 24 stitches. Yeah. Um, it's okay if you don't have the hot pink. I think anything related to it, for example, like the hook I'm holding right now, this color will be good. This color will be great too. Yeah. So 
so no matter what they are going to be so cute so it doesn't matter but somehow i'm feeling like i'm making among us <laughs> maybe they're cousins who knows same idea you know sure take your time i'm at round 12 and you should have a total of 24 stitches from round 5 to round 12 so this might take a while so if you're using um take your time if you're using a um what's what's this yarn um worsted yarn something like this acrylic is what i'm using i'm using the acrylic worsted yarn and it's gonna be a little bit stiff so what i'm what i usually do is i will kind of stretch it a bit but not way too big otherwise you are going to have some holes and you don't want that because your stuffing is white and it will be so obvious so i'll just you know like that and stretch a bit and later we can stuff this really soon I love this project because it's so easy to make and it's quick and most importantly there's no safety eyes needed <laughs> hi welcome to join us You know what? I finished this show, this Squid Game show in about two days because I cannot crochet and watch it at the same time. It's it's not a show that you can crochet with, you know, because I'm so focused on what's going to happen. Oh, my God. I just can't. <laughs> so I'm not going to tell you what happened, but this is my experience. Like this is not a show that you can crochet with because it's because mostly you listen to the show and probably like watch for a bit, right? And, but no, this is not a show you can crochet with. Just, you know, enjoy, watch the show and focus. <laughs> it's a good show though. I know some people think it's too violent, but well, it depends. I feel it's um, really like, it's real like a realistic ones and i feel some scene that i can relate it to it but if you haven't watched it highly recommend it Okay, are we good to go to the next round? Or should we wait for a bit? Okay, there's count. Okay, wait, please. No problem. Okay, let's chat more. <laughs> Dang, black yarn. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, maybe if you want to go to bathroom and wait for the others, we can do that too, you know? Yeah, stretch the finger a little bit. Oh my god. Yes, the plot is very interesting. I feel like it, it's almost like... Um, 
wanted to know how far will you go, right? It's okay. You guys will find your yarn, and yeah, maybe you can make this later. You know, we have three, right? So today we make one of them, and then you can work on the rest three. Yeah. Okay, let's go for round thirteen now. I promise I'll go slow. Okay, this is round thirteen, and here you go. At round 13, we are going to do two single crochet and decrease. So at the end of this round, you will have total of 18 stitches. Okay. So two single crochet and decrease. One, two, and decrease. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease. to decrease okay yeah I didn't really pay attention to the um, the color of the outfit I thought it's red then I pay I, I look closer hey it's not red it's actually hot pink and I'm not so sure if this color is accurate, but close enough. I'm happy about it. So, well, just use whatever you have. <laughs> okay, this is the end of round 13. You should have 18 stitches because you're doing two single crochet and decrease. Two single crochet and decrease around. So this round is 18 stitches. And at this point, we can start to stuff. We okay, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Like these shade will be great. Okay, and then you kind of just stuff and then stretch a bit. Depends on what your material is. And you can just go as round as you want. Might look like this. There's a little fuzz. It's normal. Yeah. And I will kind of stuff a bit more. Okay. All right. Looking good. All right. Let's do round 14. At round 14, you are going to do one single crochet. And decrease. One decrease. One single crochet and one decrease. Repeat this pattern. At the end of round 14, you should have a total of 12 stitches.
yeah this is the fun part because sometimes you crochet and you will kind of bring up bring out those cottons inside it's quite annoying so i use my middle finger to kind of push the cotton down a bit prevent it from coming coming out from this project so i'm crocheting like like this holding it right there So when I insert, the hook touch my middle finger, but not the cotton. <laughs> Round 14 is single crochet and decrease. Yeah, take your time. I'll be waiting. Round 13 is two single crochet and decrease. Round 14 is one single crochet and decrease. Yes, that's pretty much about it. When you're crocheting with the black yarn, you need bright light. Like right now, my lights, I turn on all the lights in this room and I'm all good. This is the end of round 14. Oh, it's okay if you're late. You can always make the other parts and then go back to make this part later. Okay, at this point, I will just stuff a little bit more, but it's up to you. Cause we don't want it too much, so your yarn, um, your project look like this. You don't want that, right? That will be too much. So, kind of make sure you don't have those white spot showing. I think mine looks alright. Yeah. Okay. I'll kind of pull out my wait why am I pulling out the yarn yeah okay we are going to work on the fees later <laughs> okay so we're all good Round 13 is two single crochet and decrease around. You will have 18 stitches. And round 14 will be single crochet and decrease. Yes, 12 stitches at this round. This is round 14. You have 12 stitches. And at the round 15 we're going to um, decrease around to close it so you can go ahead you will have six single crochet at this round at the last round decrease around So you already, you probably already noticed that this is just a, um, a round ball basic pattern. So basically it's just like this. So 
So round 13 is two single crochet and decrease. Repeat this pattern. And round 14 is single crochet and decrease. Repeat this pattern and very one, the very last one, this is round 15. You have to decrease a round, then you will have six single crochets. Like that. Okay, at this point, you can leave a tail like this and cut it off because we don't need this tail later. We just need to use this to close this part. Okay, I'm going to close this ball. So let me know if you're ready, then I will start this part with you guys. Well, to be honest with you, I um I don't think you can really know how much you need for a project. You will probably know approximately like maybe this much because every time you crochet it with different tension. So if you crochet it tighter, you will use less yarn. And if you crochet it loosely, you will use more yarn. So yeah, I will I will just get a big chunk of the yarn like this. And this is not the biggest. This is just my standard size. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Yeah, but it's it's always good to know some information about it. But you know what? You will you will know once you get into crochet long enough that you know. Oh, maybe I need this much because I never know um, exactly how much yarn do I need. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys for commenting and helping each other. Which shape is my favorite? Pita Jiang is asking. Oh, my favorite shape is this <laughs> circle. It just, I don't know, every time I make this, I just feel so satisfying. Like, look at it. So round and feel so good. <laughs> Yeah, what's what's your guys? What's your um favorite shapes? Like I don't remember if I ever really work on any other shape like humans or animals if that's what you're referring to. Oh. <laughs> You mean this shape? Oh darn. <laughs> I like the commander. Is that the right word? Because he's a boss, right? Because those has to listen to him. Square, square, square. Damn. But before, but before I know he's this square is a commander, I actually like the circle. Yeah, because I think the circle is the first one that caught my eyes. All I see is circle, circle, and then, yeah. Trying to, still trying to figure out who's the boss. And then, okay, this one show up. He's the boss. And this is the, um, probably the least power one, I guess. So maybe this is number one on the higher level. And number two and number three. This is the boss and the rest. I don't know how to say English. Round 15 is um, decrease. So you will have six, uh, six stitches around. 
decrease around. So you will have make you will have to make um, six decrease. And once you're done round 15, you leave a tail about this long. Good enough for you to close this opening. Now that's good. Oh, the cat ears. Yeah. Yeah, that too. <laughs> okay, are we all on the same page now? Like we can close this part? If not, let me know and I can chat more. I don't mind. I love chatting. Next part, we're going to make the hood. So get your hot pink ready. Okay, they can hold this, hold this thread for me, you three. Alright, let's close this together, shall we? Hmm. Oh, tug of war. Yeah, that's a harsh part. Okay, no, no spoiler alert, you guys. Don't trick me doing, don't trick me to do that, okay? <laughs> I'm this close to tell you guys what happened. But no, no, no spoiling alert. No spoil alert. Okay, I'm going to um, close this part. Just insert your hook and go like this. Pull. Oh my God, I'm going blind so hard to see okay you know what if this part is so difficult for you to see it's actually okay you just leave it like that because later the hood will help you to cover that part so you're you're fine but I like to kind of <clears throat> close it. What is OTT light? <laughs> what is OTT light? Okay, when you close it, you can kind of cut it and hide the tail back into the head. Okay, we are all good. Does anyone need to take a break? Crafting light. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I would definitely look into it. Thank you, Kay. Okay, I'm going to leave this head somewhere. Okay, right here. They can kind of hold it for me. Thank you. Okay, next part. Let's make this hood.
Okay, the pattern of the hood part is basically almost the same as the head. So if you just joined and <laughs> if you want to, you can, you know, kind of do it too. Do the head. But maybe, okay, that's not a good idea. I will just do the hood. If you miss the head part, please watch this later. It will help me to get more views anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so for the hood part, we are going to start another magic ring. And you will also make six, six single crochet into the magic ring. Okay, you guys start. I will wait for you. I'm going to go very slow. Make six single crochet into the magic ring. Two, three, four, five. it too okay so now you should have six single crochet i mean six <laughs> what am i talking about six stitches at the end of round one of the hood okay now i'm going to do round two you are going to increase around so you will have total of 12 Always mark your first stitch, especially when you are chatting and crocheting or watching your shows at the same time. Thank me later. This is round two of the hood. You will have to increase a round. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 12 stitches. Okay, no one is commenting. That means everyone is working so hard. I'll pause here and wait for you guys. This is the end of round two. Speaking of the hot pink yarn, this is my least favorite because I don't know what to make with it. So I'm so happy when I see these guys in Squid Game and I'm like, okay, I have to dig out the hot pink yarn and make a bunch of this. So my goal is to use up all my hot pink yarn. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, again, this is round two of the hood. You will have total of 12 stitches increase because you're going to increase each stitch around and round one is a uh, six single crochet meant to be yeah i remember i was um sharing the story not too long ago i found this super super bright hot pink yarn brunette and I'm like, oh my God, it caught my eyes. I can't take my eyes off it. But then I asked my question, myself a question. I'm like, okay, what am I going to make with this? This is before Squid Game. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just come back later, you know. And now we have Squid Game. We have these characters. So I went back to grab the pink yarn. Let me show you what what's that pink yarn look like. Okay, you guys ready? Dang. Oh my God. This is 
is a pink yarn. Look how bright it is. Oh my god, what does it say? It says pink pop. <laughs> pink pop. Ooh. Okay, okay, everyone's ready. I okay. Okay, let's cut the crap and go back to work. Stop chatting. Yeah, neon, that's the right word. So bright. <laughs> so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make some neon soldiers later, not now. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to round three. Hi, to join us. Thank you for coming. Okay. Now, at round three of the hood, we are going to do one single crochet increase. One single crochet increase. One single crochet increase. And repeat this pattern. You will have 18 stitches at the end of round three. So this is the first stitch right here. Okay, I'm going to say it again so you can catch up. One single crochet increase. 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 Repeat this pattern. At the end of this round three, you will have 18 stitches. Okay, I'll race you. Let's do it. Let's do it. One single crochet increase. One single crochet increase. Crochet increase. One single crochet increase. Okay. This is the end of round three. You will have 18 stitches. Okay, Kay is asking what kind of yarn am I working on right now? The answer is I don't know. <laughs> Don't hate me, I really don't know. You, you see? This is this is this is what it looked like when I dig it out from my yarn stash. Cause it's been in there like forever. I think over five years. I don't even know why I got this color. I just got it, you know. You know, just yeah. And but I know this is um red heart comfort. Let me show you the label. I don't have the name of this yarn, but I don't have I have the label right here Okay, this is a big boy. It's gonna fill the screen. So don't Don't leave my life. It's this big Red hot comforts. Oh my god. This is a big boy Okay, so Red hot comforts. This is a brand I always get because that's the most easy one for me to get at my local Walmart. Yeah. So that brand in this color, um, you can try to find it because I found even if they have the same color, sometimes um, they have some, they look a little bit different. Maybe they change their formula to mix a yarn or what, but yeah. So good luck if you cannot find this color. It's okay. You can find anything closer to it, right? It's cool. It's okay. You use pink, then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't have it in your Walmart, okay? But you have Joanne. You have, you still have Michael's, right? What time is it in America? I don't know, cause I'm in Canada. <laughs> it's almost 8.30 now, but I think everyone's time is a little bit different. <laughs> oh, Joanne is doing international shipping. But guess what? The tax here is super high. 
I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Let's go to round four of the hood. At round four of the hood, okay, this is the end of round three. At round four, you will do two single crochet increase, 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 single crochet increase. and you will have a total of 24 at the end of round four. I picked this time to stream is just because I don't know, I feel like you. I feel I feel this is the right time for me. But you know what? If you cannot join the live, you can always watch it later. Okay, two single crochet increase. Two single crochet increase. I don't think there's any people from UK at this moment or from Europe because I believe this is um, their sleeping time, I think. But it's okay. They can watch it later. Sorry, my friends in Europe. Two single crochet and increase. Yeah. Okay, take your time. You will beat me. Did I miss? Yeah, I missed one here. Okay. This is round four of the hood. You repeat the pattern to single crochet and increase. You will have total of 24. Okay. This is the end of round four. Let me know if you're ready. Haha. -ha. And later I'm going to show you how to um, avoid creating this angle. So pay attention on the next round we're going to make because we don't want the angles like this, right? We want a perfect circle. So how are we going to do it? We're going to kind of play around and try not to increase at the same spot. So round three, basically the pattern is three single crochet and increase. But now we are going to even out the angles and make it round. So I'm going to do one single crochet first. And I'm going to do an increase right away. Yeah, I mean round five, I'm sorry. <laughs> round five. Thank you, Kay. This is round five. Okay, one single crochet and increase. And then you can just keep repeating the pattern of three single crochet. Three single crochet and then increase. Okay, we're doing this, so we are not going to make the increase at the previous round where we do where we did the increase at. So normally, if you repeat three single crochet, you're going to add your increase right about the same spot that you made the increase from the last round. But we don't want to do that because if you do that, it's gonna create the angle 
and yeah, if you don't mind of course you can just go ahead it's fine <clears throat> but i don't like that so i'm going to even it out so i'm going to do three single crochet and increase but i think if you're working with the um bigger yarn the angle will not be so obvious i would say but once your piece gets bigger you will start to see those angles are started to show okay three single crochet increase Here's the end of round five. The pattern is three single crochet and increase, but I don't like the angle, so I even the stitches around the parts that will create the angle that I don't want. So I have a more like a circle look shape. So what you do is this the the pattern of this round round five is three single crochet increase instead of making three single crochet increase i make one single crochet increase first and then go ahead to do one three single crochet increase around so i will have a round edge like this you can try or not it's okay just a little bit uh just a little um tip and trick for you to create that circle okay the ending number count for this row uh for this row is for this round is 30. this is round Five, you make three single crochet increase. Yes. The reason why I start with one single crochet increase because I don't want that um, those sharp angle. I want it to be round, so I do one single crochet increase and three single crochet increase the rest. Round five is three single crochet increase. But that way, if you crochet that way, you are going to have a like a square look like angle thing. But if you don't mind, you can just go ahead and do it. But if you do one single crochet increase and three single crochet increase the rest, at the end, you will have, look here, you will have three single crochet increase and two stitches left. 30 stitches. Thank you, Kay. Yeah. That's right. But this is the way for you to make the round shape. But if the shape, if you don't care about the shape, it's okay. You can just go ahead to do three single crochet increase. Whichever way is easier for you. It's all good. Okay, let me know if you're ready. If you're ready, you can go ahead to single crochet around and make, um, so next round is round six from round six to round 11 just keep crocheting around and you have 30 stitches around so round five no no, no i'm sorry round six to round 11. so yeah this is round six single crochet around you have 30 stitches 
you will repeat this pattern all the way to round 11. Well, back to the squid game. I thought it was not a show for kids because some scenes are just, you know, not for a kid's kid, right? But while well, my kids told me that their classmate watched the show already. So I'm like, okay, so should I really kind of recommend it to my platform or not? Because I know some subscribers and some followers, they are kids. Yes, round five is three single crochet and increase around. You can do that. Yeah, some scenes are really, really bloody and I'm like, ooh, I can feel the pain. And then we are talking about Halloween costume. Because I really don't know what do they want to do this year. Am I, I'm like, okay, um, maybe you guys want to dress like this. All you need to do is to cover your hair with black and cut off the shape from the white paper and, you know, duct tape on your forehead. Then you're done. So easy. And it's so cold here already in Canada. So, well, this outfit is perfect, right? You keep you warm. At round seven, I'm going to run round eight. Still single crochet around, total of 30 st stitches. Okay, so hopefully this year we will have that trick or trick, trick or treats going. I hope the COVID will not cancel Cancel it. <laughs> Take your time, it's okay. I really appreciate you guys being here because I cannot imagine that you can crochet and type at the same time. Like, how, how, how do you do that? That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, this is okay. Nine, I'm at round 10. From round six to round 11, you single crochet around, total of 30 stitches. Yeah, so don't worry, I will wait for you. Back to the costume, I, I really think these are the very good costume for Halloween. <clears throat> and I bet there will be a lot of people dressed like that. So easy and simple that like you can just, you know, make it yourself. 
But my only challenge is how am I going to make them to be able to see through the you know mask. I was thinking using about paper, but well, it's not gonna work because they will have to you know be able to see, right? So I don't know anymore. They can decide what do they want to be this year. And I kind of hope people will come trick or treat at my place and dress like this. Totally going to take a picture of them <laughs> and show off. Okay, I'm at round 11, about to end. From round f uh, 6 to round 11, you have a total of 30 stitches. Okay, it looks like this right now. Again, kind of stretch it a bit if, you, if there's a need to. Yes, the live will be available after the live is over. So if you missed this part or you just joined, you can either make the rest part crochet alone, right? Or you can come back when the, um, the stream is over. It will take a while for YouTube to upload the video for me. But yes, you will be able to watch it later. Okay, here's the crucial part. Do you think this will fit into this? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm. I'll improvise. If they really want to dress like these guys, then yeah, we'll figure out a way. Okay, let's see if this hat will fit into this. <laughs> oh yeah, it does. It's of course supposed to be. This is whole this is the design for, right? Okay, like that. Okay, oh, do I need to do it again? Okay, let me do it again. Let me dig it out. Like that. This is your hood. Don't cut it off yet cuz you need a long tail after you put this one in there you kind of want to saw to secure so leave a you know like you know what rub it around two times around this hood and that's about the length i'm gonna cut it i'm gonna cut it oh, i'm going to cut it i did it okay good <clears throat> Okay, and you can pull this out. Yeah, let me know if you finish this part. I'm just trying to see if this will fit. If it perfectly, which is great. And remember me telling you if you really cannot see the <clears throat> closing part, you can just leave it like that. Yes, like that, because this pink hoodie will kind of cover it for you. <laughs> Take your time, Trixie. We'll wait for you. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Yay. Yeah. Ooh, looks nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about the same thing too. Like they can just wear a mask. I mean, my kid, and then put the put the shape on their forehead. It will be it will be okay too. Kind of showing showing their eyes. It will be fine too if they're going to do that for Halloween costume. It's a pretty cool idea, you know. Maybe I should join them. Then we can be a team. I will be the square because I'm the boss. <laughs> right, mom. Moms or mommy's a boss. 
Okay, let me know if you finish, and I'm going to show you how to create a slim. Uh, what's that in English? Yeah, a seamless. Um, a seamless what? Like a seamless ending. <laughs> Oh, I didn't put it on the angle. I just, you know, simply like this and then choop, like that. Yeah. Yeah, seamless finish. Like you, you cannot, you won't see this part like uneven. It will be even. Okay. So, yeah, if you like, you can also make it into an angle that you like. We will wait for you, don't worry. Take your time. Well, later I will publish this pattern too. If following the video tutorial is not your thing, you can always purchase it and yeah, make it from the written pattern if that makes you feel the best. You can do that too or bear with me, just crochet with me, chat with me because it doesn't happen that often, right? Yeah. My kids, they are, um, um, yeah, how old are they? 11 and 13. Okay, like that. Okay, this tail. Oh, it's pretty long. That's good. Okay, I'm going to show you how to create that seamless ending. Okay, but first of all, I'm going to remove this. The written pattern, yes, you can purchase the written pattern later. Tonight, I mean now, you have the early access to crochet with me, so it will be free. But of course, you can always watch this video later for free, or if that's too much, it's too painful, <laughs> You can just purchase a pattern at a very affordable, affordable price. Did I say it right? Yeah, affordable. Yes. Okay. Okay, at this point, oh, I'm going to move this so I can show you clearly. Okay, this is the stitch. Okay. Is it clear? I think so. Yeah. Okay. You are going to insert, you skip this one skip this one okay how, how am i going to say this all right you skip one stitch and insert pick the from from loop pick the front loop of this stitch like that and you pull Like this, right? Okay, and now you're going to insert back to this one, this loop. And then do it here. Basically, insert back to the back loop of the stitch that we just skip. And then pull. Wait, did I just did I just fail? Okay, let me quickly do it because I normally I'm not <laughs> familiar with it. Let me try it again. Yes, this video will be saved and you can oh, sorry. You can watch it later for sure. 
Okay, my bad. Okay, skip one stitch. And insert both loop like that. Pull. Like this. And then I believe, I think it's this one. Okay. Insert back to this. Yeah, we did it. Let me know if you're ready, then we can do it again. I'll wait for you, don't worry about it. Let me open this one again and do it again. Okay, I'll be back soon. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and you guys can just give me a sec, okay? Sorry, I missed the previous message. I didn't see it. Any one of you are going to go for trick or treat this Halloween? Yeah, let's wait for the others to get ready. I'll go get my water. Give me a sec. Let's go for, yes, round five is 30. Okay, I'm going to close this. It's never too old to go for a trick or treat. Okay, what I do is I skip one stitch and insert my hook like this. I'm not so sure if you can see it, but I'll go from here. Insert back. Okay, insert back to this one. Back loop. And then the loop that we skipped. Oh, like that. Should I do it again? Too fast? I'll do it again. Because I feel it's kind of like... 
I can't give you a better explanation. Maybe I should make a mark or something. Okay, this is the yarn that you pull out when you finish, right? It looked like that. And you skip the next one. You don't want to do this one, you do this one. Both loop like that. Oh, like that. It's okay if you let it loose like that, it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it this way for you to have a better look, okay? And then you insert back to the back loop of that you close up. Well, into the back loop, that stitch that you pull out your yarn, like finish off. And then go back to the back loop again into the stitch that we skipped. So like that. Pull. So it's like that. This angle. You can pull tighter. I think I do this too many times, so it's kind of uneven. But you kind of work with it it will be not bad, right? Okay. <laughs> so now at this point, you can put your head into this hood. Adjust it a little bit. And you can sew around the head to secure. It's yeah, up to you. you can do it directly like that or you can just, you know, come out from make sure your yarn is out this way. Look, it's very even, very pretty. Okay, now we're going to I'm going to sew around. So let's do it. There's no trick. But what I do is I don't want the white cotton inside the black yarn to come out when I do that because it happens all the time. So now you can just kind of feel. Try to sew like this only on the on the surface like this. But because we have two layers here, so you got to do this in for the black part. But you cannot see it, right? So do your best. It's fine. So you don't need to go all the way in like that. Kind of pretty, kind of like, make sure it look like that. And if you're not confident, you can do that. Kind of flip it open like this and do it. So that way you can have a beautiful um, sewing result. <laughs> oh my God, my English. And that way you don't have to deal with the those white cottons, you know? Yeah, and you can do it along. You can sew it and adjust along. Like that. I don't do it right here because I don't want it to... Because if you do it right here, you're kind of sewing this part to this part. And it won't look like a hood, you know? So I will do it right here. Of course, you can sew it at this part, this part, it doesn't matter. As long as you don't do it right here, then it's good. And make sure you don't pull, you don't pull too tight. Because <clears throat> when you pull too tight, it's, look, you're going to create a dimple then we don't want the dimple so it kind of loose it up like that and just saw around <clears throat> excuse me i need some water
that and you can adjust because polling is necessary so just make sure that you have the round result you don't want a, a dimple right i kind of form one so damn you can always go back use your finger to loosen it up and yeah like that Oh, ask again. I think I miss. I didn't read your message. Please um, say it again. Comment again, and yeah, I will. I will try to read fast. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Like that. this point I will kind of poke it to the back I'm done so poke it to the back and then you can make a knot to hide it to secure and then hide it just simply chain one like that and you can cut the nail cut the uh, tail like that and then hide it back to the hood Extra stuffing free, yay! Oh, yeah, that happened too. Doing it again is fun. Oops, are you trying to ask where do I come from? <laughs> Okay, like that. Well, I'm pretty sure that now you can tell that I'm not um, an English speaker. I'm from Taiwan. My first language is Chinese. And yeah, I'm starting to pick up my English conversation skills. <laughs> so yeah, bear with me. If I made mistake, you please correct me. Then I can learn, and I'll, I will be um, I'll be appreciated. Okay, here we have the head done. Yay! Now let's quickly go to the feet, shall we? Okay. Okay, hold it for me, please. Thank you. All right, let's start with the feet. Okay, the feet, you, you will start with black. And at this part, you are going to make eight single crochet in the magic ring. So, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this is the first round of the feet, you will make eight single crochet in the magic ring. So total of eight stitches in round one of the feet. And later we're going to do a single crochet around on round two of the feet. So at the end of round two, you also have eight stitches. Three, four, five. Just single crochet around, around two of the feet. Okay. Do you know how to change colors? If you don't, let me know, then I will have to stop here and to show you how to change color. Because we're going to change a color into the hot, what? Yeah, right there, the hot pink. This is the end, the last stitch of the round two of the feet. Okay. Okay, 
we're all good then let's do it's okay if you don't know let me know later because we're going to do make another feet i mean make another leg so you can always learn again so here we're going to change color into the hot pink and finish the last stitch of round two of the leg okay from this is round three we're going to single crochet around again round three is also single crochet around you will have eight stitches eight stitches round one is a single crochet round two is single crochet around so that's eight stitches round three is also single crochet around also eight stitches and now this is round four round four is also single crochet around you have eight stitches Okay, now you have to cut off the black. Okay, this is the first leg. Only four round, and they're all eight stitches. So very easy. It's okay, we're going to make another one. So if you miss the first one, you can still catch up on the leg too. But at this point, please make sure you slip stitch to the next and pull out and then chain one to secure you can cut it short like this because we're going to merge two leg to two legs together so i'm going to go ahead to make another leg this is leg one let's do it again leg two Leg two is also um, a single crochet in the magic ring. Round one, a single crochet in the magic ring. Okay, this is round one of the feet of the leg. Okay, round two it's also single crochet around you will have eight stitches in total at the end of round two but to change color you will have to change to the hot pink and then finish the last step of that stitch so now you have to loop on the hook, change. Instead of pulling the black, you pull the pink to finish that stitch. Okay, this is round two. Round three. Round three, okay. Round three of the leg, you also do single crochet round. black okay and round four you also single crochet round yeah okay let me know if you're done then i can show you how to merge two legs together yay okay so your leg look like a hot mess like this 
And sometimes, if your tension is not right, <laughs> you have one big and one smaller leg. Leg, yeah, yeah. I'll wait. Don't worry. Two leg like this. Later, we're going to merge them together. Cheers. Hmm. We're almost there, almost there. And I know you're going to make so many. And if you're a maker, you, I think this is great for your Christmas and holiday market. You're going to sell a lot. So good luck, good luck. I hope you guys sell really, really well. Ready? Are you ready to merge the leg? Let me know. These are called the、um, pink soldiers, Squid Game.、Um, you can ask about yarn over and yarn under, but let's finish the tutorial first. And I will show you what's it about. But if I don't have time to do it today, I will try to、um, make another video and give you a better explanation. Okay, right now, let's merge these two legs together. Okay, first of all, pick up your yarn hook, and then. Turn it to the back where you、uh, stop, where you finish. You see here. You can see the part that we change color, right? We don't want this part to show in the front. Our front should look like this, very clean, right? So, if you don't want this to show at the back, you can merge them, place it like this. But it's a little bit. Um, you can do it this way, but I normally I just go ahead like this. So it's up to you. If you're not secure, if you're not confident, you can always insert your hook to kind of you know like adjust a bit. This、um, decide which which stitch you want to start with. So you can do it like this, or you can kind of do it like this. It's up to you. So this will be the look from the back, and this is the look from the front. So yeah, once you are sure, then you can start. Let's insert into one leg and another leg like that. Okay, you can always practice on this one and then、um, improve more、um, from your third and third,、uh, second and third. Okay, here I'm going to. You're going to add this yarn. Grab it and pull through both legs like that, where you insert them like that. It might be tricky, but do your best. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and the next part. This is the 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 most difficult part. And the next will be you just single crochet around. So this leg. It's okay. Take your time. This leg is eight stitches, and this leg is also eight stitches. So eight plus eight equal to sixteen. That's right. Good job. Okay. When you do that, mark it. This is the first stitch. So this is round. This is round. I will say.、Um, I will say this is round five. <laughs> round five. 
because one, two, three, four, five. So this is round five of the leg to body. So yes, you will have total of 16 stitches. And this tail right here, you can crochet with it. Okay, so just go ahead and make sure you have that much. You have 16 stitches. This is round five when you merge two legs. Okay, this is how it looks like right now. Excuse me. Okay, let's do it again. This is round six. Same thing, single crochet around. You have 16 stitches. Yes, I just join with a single crochet. You pull it through and then you pull it through and then just insert to the next one and start crocheting. I can tear this down and do it again. Let me know if you want me to show you how to join again. Thank you for coming, Peter. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you in a bit, Peter. Yeah, if I don't need to undo this, I will just keep going. So let me know. It's okay. We'll be waiting for you. Okay, now I'm going to tear this down. It's okay, let's do it again, no problem. Okay, tearing is the fun part because it's so fast. <laughs> right? Done. <laughs> so yeah, appreciate handmade. Please, appreciate handmade. Okay, there's another trick for you to do it. If you're not confident for merging two legs, use your hook. Okay, use your stitch marker, not hook, <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Sorry, use your stitch marker, stitch them together like this, then you're, you're good, you're good to go, so you won't miss. So insert your hook to where you stitch mark at, like that, right? Oh yeah, sure. You can watch this later. This video will be a normal video when the life is over. So you can watch it as many times as you want. Okay, this time we're going to kind of... If you're not confident, you can leave a longer tail. It's fine, like that. Like this. Pull through both leg like this and now you can adjust the length of the long tail like i don't want it so long i can just pull it and it's just like this right and now you have to use your finger to kind of move away the tail and go ahead to insert to the whatever next stitch is like this and then, if you're ready, you can crochet with this, this tail, this tail, and this tail together. But now, let's just work on this one, so less confusion, okay? So go ahead, make a single crochet like this. It seems pretty loose, and you can always pull the tail to make it tighter, like that. 
and then go ahead keep making the single crochet from one leg to another So at this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Let me know if this is too fast or this is just right. Yeah, I can show it again. No problem. I'm happy I make a stitch marker here. You know what? I'll cut this short. I'll tuck this back in here and you will see better. Okay, like that. Insert your hook to where you want to march to leg, the point where your stitch marker is. Sorry, my bad is 16, not 18. My bad is 16 stitches because A plus 8 <laughs> equal to 16. Okay. Okay, now let's pull, grab the yarn, and pull through both loop. And make sure you are at the back where you finish off the leg, not the front. This is the front. We are working on the back here. Once you pull through the thread, you just go ahead and crochet like normally. So this leg is eight stitches. And the next leg is also eight stitches. So, yeah, see, this is a clean front. This is the hot mess back, and they're both beautiful. Yay! So, yeah, putting a, a stitch marker between two legs helps a lot if you're new to this. Okay, this is round. Let me see. Hmm. This is round five of the leg and body. Connect them together. Let's go ahead to go to round six. Oh, comment and let me know if this is too fast. If not, and you can just go ahead and crochet. You don't need to wait for me. And this is also the good point for you to um, kind of count the stitches. Sometimes you might end up really having more than 16 and you can do an increase or decrease here and there to get to the right amount. Oops. Okay. Now this is the end of the round six of leg to body. Now we're going to switch it to the black. We're making this part. Okay. This part, I mean these this part, this belt is easy too. Also single crochet around. But don't cut off your pink yet. Leave it there. Let go. Okay. Oh, I have to move my marker. Okay, now mark your first. Actually, you don't have to because it's black. Oh yes, you do, you do. Because we are going to two, we are going to make two round. Just, just do it. Just mark it. Okay. Now here, this is round six for the black belt. Single crochet round. You will have total of sixteen stitches. Okay. 
you're gonna repeat this pattern again for round eight. This is round seven. Yes, this is round seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, round seven. Okay, do it again. Here. My bad, maybe I say it wrong. Why are you confused? Let me know. Okay, here, let's break it down. Look, the leg part is four round. So two in black, two in pink and then we merge merge two leg with pink and then do it again and then make two round for the black belt so this is the end of the black belt and we are at round eight at this point okay Now I'm going to change to the hot pink again. Let me know if this is too fast. I'll wait for you. And I can have a sip of water. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm. So yeah, if you count from the if you count from the front, you should have two round of black, one, two, three, four, four round of the pink, two round of the sick, uh, two round of the black, and now we're going to back to the pink. We're going to make round nine, ten, and eleven. So three more rounds. This is round what? Okay, yeah. This is round nine. Single crochet round, you will have 16 stitches. Two black, four pink, two black. And now we are going to make three more round of the, you can cut off the black now three more round of the body this is round nine total of 16 stitches so you can go ahead to make it very easy just single crochet around Now, we are at the very last round of the body. This is round 11. Also single crochet around. Oh, thank you for helping me. Yeah. Sometimes the 
I cannot reply you like right away if the comment is too long. Okay, the body is done. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can always, if you're behind, you can always check this video again. All right, we are going to saw the head to the body later. So you need a longer tail. Okay, you would rather do it longer than shorter so you won't be sorry for and just pull out like that and remove the stitch marker and you can stuff the body too yeah just do it again just stuff it right but not too much because you don't want to show the uh, stuffing right excuse me there's three more two black belts two round of the black belt and then three more rounds of the body so from leg to the end of the body this is round one all the way to round 11 yeah three one, two, three. Like this. Here's a better look. One, two, three. Two round for the belt. Four. One, two, three, four. For the leg part to body. And two round for the shoes, I think. For the boots. Okay. Now. We good? Whew. Oops, sorry. I stretch and bump into my phone. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's do... Let's do the hand, okay, the arm. Yeah, sure. Take your time. I will go ahead to make one arm and you can follow up for the next one because I know some of you are already done. So for the arm parts, um, we will have round one to round five. Two round of the black for the gloves and three round for the arm. So start with a magic ring. Make six single crochet. Two, three. Okay, this is round one of the arm, the hand. Six single crochet. And for round two, you also do six single crochet. This is the gloves, and we are going to make the arm change color to the hot pink. Okay. Also single crochet around, so total of six stitches. You can cut off the tail. The black one. Three, four, five, six. Round three of the arm. Again, round four of the arm. Also single crochet around. Like this. Okay. Like I said, if you are still at the body, I'll just go ahead for the for making this for the one who already done. I'll make another one, then you can catch up, okay? Don't worry about it. I'll be here. 
waiting for you. Don't stress yourself up. We're supposed to be, you know, like, you know, crochet and chatting at the same time, but <laughs> it's difficult, I know. Okay. Okay, this is the one arm. Two round for the gloves, the mitten, their their gloves, yeah. And three round for the arm. They're all six single crochet. All of them start with six single crochet in the magic ring. And also leave a longer tail because you're going to sew it. Okay. So now you know how to make this arm, you can go ahead and make another one. Let me know if you just started to make your first arm and I'll wait for you. If we're all good, I'm going to go ahead to make the second arm, yes? Cheers. Hmm. Okay, then I'll take a break. I can take one minute break, you know, like exercise my wrist a bit. Well, fun fact, when I go live and crochet in public, I tend to crochet very tight. So this one might come out a little bit smaller than this. Oh, actually they look about the same. I guess I, I got improved. Maybe I'm less nervous this time. I don't know. Well, too too much hummus today, so I got used to it. Yeah, yay, we're almost there. Whoa, we've been here for about almost two hours. Crazy, I thought I already crocheting fast. I thought I crochet fast, but actually I'm not. Yes, the arm is two black, three pink, and they're all six single crochet. So this is one arm like that. You're going to sew it to the side of the body like that. Okay. Again, if you miss this life or you just pop in right now, you can always watch this video later because it will go uh it, it will be published by youtube as a normal video so you can always come back and watch it when you can the arm is not stuffed yet because i'm still waiting but if you're ready you can stuff a little bit and start the sewing if you're fast enough you if you already made the second arm, you can just go ahead and sew them like this and then sew the head up to it. Yeah. You can also start with a shape because it's simply just sewing to them. You can also use a needle file to needle file the shape onto it. Sewing is good. Needle file is good. If you're not great at either, you can just hot glue them. Or use a fabric, a uh, fabric glue to glue the shape onto the face. So that might take a while. So choose which one that, um, which whichever is easier for you. They're all great method. Okay, I'm going to go ahead to finish the second arm. The second arm is the same pattern of the first arm which is make six single crochet into the magic ring okay. 
Oh, I love to throw another life crochet pattern tutorial when I have time. <laughs> yeah. Of course, if you guys like it, if you like the pace today, or you have, if you have any feedback, you can. You're very welcome to comment below to this video when it's public published. Or you can send me a DM. Let me know what can I improve for you of your, you know, as a viewer experience. Okay, magic ring, six single crochet, round one, and then round two, single crochet around. So for one, uh, for arm, round one and round two, you have six stitches. And now you're going to change into the hot pink. Oh, so single crochet around. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, you're going to make another two round. Sorry, you're going to make another three round. Round three to round five in hot pink. Oops. This is the round four. Okay, yeah. One more round and we are about done. Yay. Someone just asked round seven to round eight. Do you mean the body part? Okay, this is round five of the arm, six single crochet. And leave a tail to sew, like that. Now you have two arm, yeah! Okay, so now you can stuff a little and sew it to the body, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew it. Oh, I already do? I think it's like thick enough that you don't have to. You don't have to stuff if your yarn is thick enough. Yeah, like that. Okay, now we're going to sew the arm to the body. Yay. I think sewing is the best part of the whole project because that means you're, you know, you're done, you know, like we're ready to go, we're done, we're almost done and we can, you know, show off what we made, right? Yeah, just sew it like that, sew them together, there's no... There's no trick, just, you know, go ahead and sew it. That's one arm. Next one. Okay. I don't know about you guys. Do you guys like to sew it first and then stuff the body? Or stuff the body first and then sew the arm to, to it? Either way works so though, it's up to you. <laughs> yes, yeah, sewing can be not fun, but you know, it's also a way to show yourself that oh, I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Yeah. Okay, like that. How are we going to deal with this too long tail? What I do is I tie a knot. Like this. Then tie another to secure. 
like this, and then I just cut it. You can cut it or just put it inside. I just cut it like that. Okay. Okay. Now, don't forget we are going to solve the line before you saw the head. That's what happened to me. So just cut the thread of the black yarn and it's so easy. Just insert your hook like this inside the body. Come out from the belt part because they're all black. And then put it back to the center like that. Again, you tie a knot and hide it or cut it. It's up to you. Both great. I'm curious, is my background music too loud or will you will you be able to hear it? To me, it's okay, but you know, because I'm not a viewer, so I don't know. I hope it's not too loud and you can hear me clearly. Okay, like this. And now we're going to, you know, put the head to the body. Like, if you're if you're following me on Instagram and you've seen my reel, you know I always do this and it's done. I hope it's that easy, but <laughs> let's just do it. Let's just sew it. I wish I can do this and it's done. <laughs> okay, good. Yay! Thank you. I'm glad you can hear me clearly. All right, let's do it. Oh, painful, but we're almost there. Let's go. Let's just saw it, saw it, saw it, saw it. Hashtag picked out. What does that mean? Like, for what? Or are you talking to me? Or just you guys are chatting? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oops, the arm. Damn. Bummer. Damn. Okay. Yeah. We we are almost there. Almost there. How are you going to add your shape to the face later? Are you going to saw it, or are you going to hot glue it? Or you're going to needle felt it. I mean, if you're done this part, you can just go ahead. But don't leave yet, because I need to show you something at the very end of the this video. Give you a better idea. So yeah, and we need to do a proper goodbye, you know? Yeah, we're almost there, almost there. Okay. Both worth it, what? I Sorry, I missed that one. Or never mind if you're not talking to me. Oh yeah, you can sew it. And you can hot glue it, you can use fabric glue, or you can just cut off from the white felt cloth and glue it. It's a good way to. Ooh, a J. The jazz music sounds good. I love it. Somehow jazz music reminds me of, you know, Christmas. Oops. Again, tie a knot and cut it and hide it back to the hood. Perfect. Oh no, um, oh I get it. I don't I don't really have a hashtag picked out. 
because I don't know which one to use. I guess you can just tag me to your story and I will see it. Yeah, we are done now. Time to decide which shape do you want. Okay, like I mentioned before, pick up your yarn. You can hot glue it or you can sew it or that's what I do in my story. I kind of use the needle felt. See if you can see it. There's a little teeth on it. And needle felt is the shape I want. It's totally up to you. But for now, I'm going to leave it blank because I don't know which one I want this one for. So yeah. I think we are officially done. Do you have any questions? Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah. Okay, let me clean this and show you what I need to show you. I hope you guys are, you know, like, Drink enough water. Hmm. Stay hydrated. Okay, now your doll should look like this, no problem, right? So if you're satisfied about today's tutorial, please, well, you can either share it to your friend or, you know, help me to promote this video because I can use some real watch time. Do you know what is a real watch time? That means you don't skip the clip in the video. So that means you have to watch, basically play the video from the beginning to the end. But it's up to you. I will be very happy to reach my 4,000 watch hour. So far, um, at, I think it's 1,700. But yeah, I'm getting closer, which is good. And what I'm going to show you is this little girl here i know you guys are asking about this tutorial i want to make this tutorial for you guys but i found it can be difficult to do it so i don't know i will have to think about it because this turn around part pretty cool eh yeah and uh, the circle Oh yeah, I can I can I can do that in a tutorial if that's okay cuz it might take a while to get from round 1 to round whatever round 5 if that's okay with you. Yeah, I'm thinking about making the basic crochet amigurumi tutorial in the future. So far, I have to find a time. Yeah, this one is difficult to make. It will take longer time. So I don't know if I can handle it, handle it yet. And there's many details, so I don't know if I can make the tutorial. I will try to make a pattern, but nothing is promised, okay? I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, yeah. We'll see. Thank you, Kay. Okay, next one I want to show you is... Um... This one comes in how big? Did we, did we measure it yet? Let me get a ruler. Okay, this is my ruler. Okay, very shiny. Okay, let's see how big is this thing. This thing, I measured 4.5-ish. Four, four ish, right? Yeah, four, 4 point something something. Yeah, this big, about this big. I'm really bad at size. I'm sorry about that. Okay, today the material we use will create this size. <laughs> we'll create this cheapy size. And if you want it to be a little bit bigger, of course, you can change your yarn into, you can try velvet. It's a little bit thicker. And I believe the doll will come out a little bit bigger. If you're into plushies like this, 
you can tell the differences, right? This one is made in Bernat blanket, blanket yarn, and here's the size difference. As you can see, I tried. Yeah. Okay, it's this big. This one is eight inches tall, and this one is four inches tall. But we don't judge by the inches. We have to go around and look at how thick it is, right? Yeah. So if you guys are selling this, please say if you charge this for twenty, so you don't multiply because it's a because this is eight inches. So you charge for forty. No, don't. That's too cheap. Okay, charge more than forty, eighty, hundred. I think it's worth it. So yeah, this is make a big one. Yeah, use your blanket yarn. Make a big one. So cute, right? You see, I make another square because I, I'm the boss. <laughs> We're all boss, okay? Okay, so yeah, I think that's about it. This is, um, this is a tutorial for today and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to support me, you can also purchase this crochet pattern from my pattern store. I will publish it sometime this weekend, I hope. So just to give you a better look size wise so if you do make it into this size make sure you charge in good price because your time matters okay your time matters your material matters your skills matters and don't undercharge please do not undercharge we're good she's looking at you she said do not undercharge or you are dead <laughs> no, i'm just kidding so yeah Thank you so much for being here and thank you for joining my very first hot mess and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned. I will I will try my best to you know do that in my Instagram. And yeah, tag me and I can see your work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye everyone. Have a nice weekend. Thank you so much. My villager, they wave like this. Bye. Bye. Yay. <laughs>